This is John Kubitschek from Buddy TV, and I'm here with Wentworth Miller and Sarah Wayne Callies from the hit Fox show, Prison Break. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Great. Now, the fans of Buddy TV are extremely excited to have uh, Michael and Sarah back together. How easy or difficult was it finding that chemistry again after being gone for a season? So hard. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah's got her work cut out for her, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I mean, look at him for crying out loud. <laughs> So you, you fell back into sort of those old rhythms fairly simply then? I think as actors we work well together and uh, I certainly miss Sarah when she was gone. Um, the question is we've come back to characters who've changed dramatically. Um, Sarah's had her experiences uh, and Michael has uh, crossed a couple of lines that he probably would not have crossed if he thought that Sarah was still around. You know, when he collapsed that tunnel on his fellow inmate, um, that was Michael actively arranging someone else's murder. So when uh, you talk about Michael and Sarah getting back together, A, you have to talk about whether these characters can recognize one another, and B, whether they're worthy of um, any kind of real lasting connection. Um, it's certainly something to fight for. So then what will, in this new season, how much interaction? Will there be a lot of Michael and Sarah? Will we see them sort of getting back together, reconnecting throughout the season? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think what's, at least, you know, I've seen, I think, eight episodes worth of script so far. And what's interesting to me is that these are two people who've always had huge, huge, huge boundaries between them. Um, and they've been physical boundaries. And those physical boundaries are now, for the most part, gone. And what they find is that they're still enormous emotional boundaries and psychological boundaries. And what I see is at this point in the storytelling, I don't quite know myself, and I'm, I'm trying to find my true north again. He's in a very similar place. At a certain point, they may start to look more closely at the other person and say, whoa, I don't know if, if you're the man that I knew stronger in some ways, maybe darker in others. I mean, there's a lot of exploration mm. to undergo and very, very little time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the real challenge of the Michael Syrah dynamic, is that it's not a show about a romance. It's a show that has a romance threaded through it. So um, in between the gunfights and the car crashes, how right. do these people find each other in a way that's um, believable and realistic? Um, I still feel that first season uh, was our strongest so far. Um, in terms of uh, Michael and Sarah, and they had the context ironed out and their characteristics ironed out. Mm -hmm. And second season, I felt a little bit like the romance spun out just a bit because the powers that be didn't decide very um, clearly and specifically who these characters were going to be to each other on the other side of the wall. But Sarah and I, I think, um, are really finding our way as far as that's concerned this season. I feel very, very strongly about the work that we've done so far in these last eight episodes. It's also worth just briefly, Michael and Sarah are almost never alone mm. this season. And so in a way, first season, they didn't see each other much and there were obviously a lot of things between them. But when they were together, they were alone in a room together and could speak relatively freely. Mm. Now we're in a context where you may be having a conversation with someone and there's a room full of people, so how do you, yeah. you know, so tell me about your relationship with your father, <laughs> everyone. You know, it's awkward. Yeah.